include our NXT coverage for right now. And we are wrestling. We are wrestling with WWE SummerSlam. It was last Sunday in the first match out. And we don't usually talk about the kickoff show matches, but I kind of feel like this one was warranted. Apollo Crews defeated MVP to retain the United States Championship in 6 minutes and 37 seconds. Um, this is not a vote of confidence from WWE on Apollo Crews, correct, Scooter? Mm. No, I wouldn't. I I wouldn't say that. It was. It was either this or. Or put the uh, tag title match on the uh, on the kickoff show again, and I think that it was just um, it was just a matter of of timing. What about you, Coleco? The opposite. I mean, they're giving him a chance. I mean, you really thought MVP was going to win that match? No, what I mean is, um, you know, they've been pushing this rivalry to the moon on Monday Night Raws, and then they mm-hmm. just drew them onto the pre-show for the pay- pay- payoff. But to me, the beef was always with Lashley, not with MVP. He just threw himself in there. Because it was Lashley, because Lashley was the one that took him off the shelf, allegedly in the first place. MVP yeah. just inserted himself and made himself champ, to which Apollo <laughs> Crews righted that wrong. And 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 probably the re- the reason they did it is so they could make the Crews Lashley match on payback, which. Really, you can't call. Really, you can't call it payback after finding out why they did. They're doing a pay per view one week after their biggest pay per view of the summer. The fact that they wanted to do this pay per view to show what the third hour of SummerSlam would have been like. So you could really call it SummerSlam Hour Three. Oh, I was just gonna say because payback's a bitch for Bobby, but. <laughs> I'll take that one. <laughs> that brings us to our next, our first match on the actual show. Bailey defeated Oscar to retain the SmackDown Women's Championship in 11 minutes and 35 seconds. Then you have the Street Profits defeating Angel Garza and uh, Andrade to retain the Raw Tag Team Championships. No surprise or dare, correct? Correct. I mean, we 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 told you. What? No disqualification. Loser leaves town match. Mandy Rose defeated Sonya Deville in ten minutes and five seconds. This was Fuck a real running wild. This was a real missed opportunity for Sonya and Mandy. I mean, they had an okay match, but. I mean, they were riding on the fact that this was a hair-to-hair match, and obviously, timing of circumstances did not dictate that. Correct, Scooter? Yeah, because you you got to look professional for court, and since they were seemingly going to do something radical to Sonya's hair, uh, given that they actually called the stipulation off, um... That, that, yeah, it's just, I mean, but still all those friggin' pump kicks, man. (laughs) Yeah, it was just, yeah, the match didn't do it just, did do the storyline justice to me. It just, but then again, a lot of shit kind of happened and, you know. Do you see them renewing the rivalry once Sonya Deville returns? Nah. What about you, Scooter? Yeah. Uh. Alright. 
street fight. Seth Rollins defeated Dominic in 22 minutes and 34 seconds. What was your thoughts on uh, Dominic Mysterio's first ever match in WWE? Scoot up. That damn hood. <laughs> like, that damn hood just kept getting in the way. You might as well, you might as well have been, you know, a superhero cape flying into a, you know, a airplane turbine. Yeah, what do you think he can go with the topless look? Um, I'm not sure I want to answer that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, most wrestlers don't wear a shirt when they wrestle. I mean, this this isn't this isn't getting explicit here. <laughs> yeah, also most most WWE wrestlers are not eighteen either. <laughs> He's twenty three, I believe. Oh, is he twenty three? He's twenty three. Could have fooled me. Um. Yeah, he looks eighteen. Shit. I mean, this. I mean, this was. Uh, I don't think at any given point in this match, Miss Dominic looked like he was seriously going to beat Seth. I agree with that. Uh, he just like there wasn't like they they. There was more believability when he tried to help his father beat Brock. Yes. And it just it it, it, it fell flat. Uh, I mean. I mean, this is. You know, I mean, it's surprising to see nepotism in the WWE when your last name was not McMahon. Um, but he, yeah, Dominic should have, I, I, Dominic could have built up his own thing as, uh, you know, in NXT, and but WWE insisted that he ride his father's coattails. You think this was a WWE call and not a a Dominic slash Rey Mysterio call? Yeah. Anything you want to add to that, Clicker? Um. Technically, I, I get Scooter's point, but the toothpaste was kind of out of the tube when he jumped in at Survivor Series. So I, I get it. It's kind of like when, you know, CM Punk, once he became pro, it was hard for him to go in MMA. It was hard for him to go back to amateurs. You know what I'm saying? So they kind of already put him in that spot. So I, I kind of I get it in that sense. Um, Seth Rollins. Uh, a word that most people don't pick with them, safe. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually a safe match for Dominic, and it made sense in the storyline. So, I mean, and they made it a street fight, so where they didn't have to do a bunch, like a wrestling clinic, and the story warranted it because it was kind of, I mean, based on what happened with the whole eye thing, it, it kind of made sense for it to be a street fight because it's not about winning the match. It's just about kicking somebody's ass. That brings us to our next match. Asuka defeated Sasha Banks uh, to win the Raw Women's Championship in 11 minutes and 31 seconds. Sasha Banks in her five title range over four years has never successfully defended a singles championship. Your dog Scooter. 
I mean, at this point, it's going to be the thing that replaces the streak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I see that happening. What about you, Kuiko? It it continues. <laughs> it, it'll end. It'll end once Bailey like, you know. But I, I will give Sasha this much: the tag titles. At least she did defend those, so you can give her a couple of kudos, <laughs> a couple of cool points. Not a lot, but like minimal cool points. Next match: Drew McIntyre defeated Randy Orton to retain the WWE Championship in 20 minutes and 35 seconds. This is probably the best match on the card. What say you, Scooter? Yeah. Um, yeah, the fact that it, it it didn't come down to who had the most power, but who was, in fact, the smartest. Uh, you know, the fact that Randy Orton actually, you know, in the... the, the the in-ring chess game, he got, you know, checkmated and at his own game. That's a great uh, way to put it. Is Orton, what, if you really think about it, Orton really wasn't looking to really win the match, in a sense. He, he was looking to damage Drew and then if there was time pin him and win. Orton wasn't focused on winning and you you could see that in the storytelling throughout the match, hence why the WWE did a very risky finish with it ending with a chance counter into a backslide. And it, it's kind of like just progressing the, the story at this point because of, you know, they're wrestling at payback. No, they're not. Oh, no, yeah, you're right. But we, we're going, they are going to have a, another match down the line. So it is progressing that storyline. This was just the first match in uh, clearly a series. Mm, yes. What about you, Kalika? What was your thoughts on uh, the McIntyre Orton match? I kind of agree with Scooter in a sense. I feel like Orton was over cocky in a sense. In the match, uh, you could tell the way. I mean, he was kind of methodical, but I think towards the end, he was kind of over cocky because he fit. It's it's kind of like that that knockout artist that's looking for that one shot, and he just spent most of the time looking for that one shot rather than being technically profound. Although I must say, um, the weirdest part of the match was when Drew won by backslide and Todd Phillips yells, from out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is the worst thing ever. And uh, and this is not wrestling related, but it is kind of sad. Just found out uh, Black Panther has died. Chadwick Boseman. What? Dies. What? 43. Yeah. What? Really? What? Are you kidding me? No! Yes. Chadwick Boseman has oh died of oh uh, colon cancer. Oh my god, really? Yeah, yeah, man. Oh my yeah, god. Man. We... We... Yeah, man. Yeah, wow. just like, fuck. That, that just, that hurts. That hurts. Wow. Okay. Um, As a Marvel guy. But we know it's a wrestling show, but Jesus, that was just like, because I, I just felt like Black Panther was kind of bigger than 
like one of the biggest movies in the world. But yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, wow. <laughs> no, like sorry. <laughs> yeah, that, sorry. that came out nowhere. Um, let's try and get Talk back about to track here. Um, yeah, we'll get back on track. <laughs> the, let's get back on track. The but Finn, rest in peace. The Finn Bray Wyatt defeated Braun Strowman to win the Universal Championship in 11 minutes and 59 seconds. And also saw the return of Roman Reigns uh, as a heel, as we uh, alluded to earlier uh, tonight. Uh, your thoughts on the match, Scooter? Uh, it was a short, short match. I, I mean... I, mean, I don't was, think anybody expected this to be uh, a 60-minute I mean, like, Iron Man match. <laughs> like, I... I also didn't think a you know the, the, the force under the ring would be enough to put Strowman down. Like that, that just seemed like like I I, I don't know. It just it seemed beating him. Uh, it was too easy. Could be a fair assessment, but I mean, you could also maybe say that the thing overpowered him in a sense. That is true. And uh, what's a you, Kalika? I agree. The match was short, but it was short because they wanted to give the whole Roman thing, and it it made sense for him to come back came out of nowhere out of nowhere as they always the whole that was the whole theme of the night from you never saw it coming or some shit like that but you never uh, see it coming. <laughs> yeah you never see it coming with a backslide but anywho um roman coming back it it puts juice back into it uh because as much as people don't want to admit it whether you like him or love him he's He's a, he's a guy that draws, and it's a good timing. I'm glad that he feels that his health is at a place to where he feels like he could come back. Uh, that's first and foremost, but the match was basically shortened for him to do what he needed to do and show that he is um, he is the guy, especially when he was talking shit to The Fiend at the end. Cause at the at, when he was looking at the feed, he's like, "You oh, ain't you, you ain't a you ain't nobody. You just a freak in a mask." I was like, <laughs> "Damn, he just it's like you ain't shit. You just a freak in a mask. Give me this belt, like yo, damn, Roman, like." Because usually, you know, he comes back with those whole suffering succotash shit. So they let him actually talk shit like how he does on the football field at Georgia Tech. I feel like it'll be okay. Now we would I'd be remiss not to comment on um the Thunderdome audience. Uh the needless to say it hasn't been going well. Uh as of right now we had a uh, file Rebel Team Dream on one of the monitors, um a pixel of Chris Benoit. And excuse me when I say I mean no deep offense by this, I don't want to offend anybody. I'm just reporting the news as it was given to me. Somebody dressed in a uh, KKK robe. This, and now the, K, the, the whole KKK that, that looked like somebody was playing a video of a KKK meeting. Not a live um, okay. feed, so to speak. Uh, because it looked, uh, there, there was a, if you look at the, the photo, it was a group. Of people. Um, uh, as for the Chris Benoit thing, if you weren't, if you really weren't paying attention, it it, it was that picture of Chris Benoit staring directly at the camera. So if you're not paying attention, it looked like just another fan watching. Right. You know, we were concerned about you know fans whipping it out, and I think this kind of took a uh, a, a, a really bad turn from just that, right? Yeah, there's always that 10%, like we always <laughs> say. Although, I will 
I, I before I'm sorry to interrupt Scooter, but they did. I guess the moderators are banning motherfuckers, so they are going to find those bitches and and find, ban them. Granted, I mean, it ain't like they're paying for shit. I mean, they first, first of all, they need to friggin' announce when registration for Thunderdome friggin' opens. Because from what I see, it opens, like, at midnight, uh, at least Eastern Time, um, like, after a certain show, like, I meant to, like, I went to try and sign up for Payback, uh, like, right after, um, like, after, uh, NXT ended, uh, because, because uh, it was still Raw up for then, um, and so SmackDown was that, and even at, like, like, two in the morning my time, the registration for payback had closed. Really? Because I got into payback. You got and into What time did you register? I, it was like 10 a.m. It, it's a, you know what? Getting into Thunderdome is just like getting bola tickets. And if you know, and if you're in the LA area, you know what the hell I'm talking about. Are it's you- like getting bola tickets, bro. You feel like you got to join the Illuminati just to get in. And it's like, God Damn, it is fucking hard. Cause I've tried like SmackDown, I tried Raw, I tried SummerSlam, and I for some odd reason I just save it to my desktop, and I just click it in every morning around 10 a.m. and I just happen to catch it. it. It's just yeah, it's way too like secretive. They may, and for them to have all this dumb shit popping off in the Thunderdome, it should it should be. <laughs> Fuck, it shouldn't be that fucking hard. I mean, my my uh, my ideal situation is to be on the Thunderdome and do the remix without them catching on. That that could be pretty cool. Live commentary from the Thunderdome. Thunder. Um, we will have all that. Uh. As it progresses, this Thunderdome thing is definitely one of the more interesting things going on in wrestling. Uh, and that will conclude our coverage of WWE SummerSlam.